Today is going to be a short video about adding, or a simple way of adding a headphone jack to your Raspberry Pi Zero, or Zero W in this case, um, with one of these Bluetooth receivers. This is just one example, but you can find these basically anywhere online. I got this one at 5 and below, and it works pretty well for what it is. A Pi Zero, it outputs audio through the HDMI cable, add out to your TV speakers or monitor, whatever, in this case I already have it hooked up. Um, and usually you can use something like A Play to play audio files from the terminal. In order to do what we're doing today, I'm going to go to a desktop environment, and this will work on the Pixel desktop environment, what's normally used on Raspberry Pi OS, uh, or you can do the same on Diet Pi with its configuration utility. So here I'm loading into LXDE, and it's gonna be the same on normal Raspberry Pi OS. This is Raspberry Pi OS with the alternative LXDE instead of the Pixel environment. So I have a normal Raspberry Pi 3, and it has the traditional headphone jack that the Raspberry Pi Zero lacks. So it's giving me a message here. So Basically, what you're going to want to do is get a speaker. Well, first, let me show you the sound output through the TV. So if I go ahead and zoom in, down at the bottom, oh, my tripod is being finicky. If you go to the um, audio plugin, left click, um, it gives you the list of audio devices you have connected. In this case, it's only HDMI, and I have the volume up. So I'll go ahead and play a, a short bit of music so you can get a gist of what's going to happen. You can use any player of choice, but in this case I'm going to use Audacious uh, Sound Video. My audio file in. And there you go, it is playing audio and it's quite loud for some reason. Well, it's probably because I had it on maximum volume. But yeah, that's outputting through the TV speakers. So what we're going to need to do is... I'm going to close out of Audacious. No, go, go away. So it's a little tricky in how you pair Bluetooth devices on Raspberry Pi OS with the whole plug-in thing. So I'll just get my transmitter or receiver here and turn it on. mode. Um, so you're going to go ahead and go to Bluetooth. Let's go zoom in down there. And then add device. And we will show you a little list. And don't worry about these random Bluetooth addresses. You don't need to worry about that. Usually the device you want to pair will show up at the bottom after a short while of it searching for new devices. We can also use it on the Pi 3 if you wanted to, or the Pi 4, there it is. A Bluetooth receiver, you click pair. So it's going to pair, and now what you need to do next is go to the sound uh, sound menu, what I showed before, um, and left click on it, on it right here. The Now click Bluetooth receiver, or whatever Bluetooth device yours is, and now we have a working headphone jack on our Raspberry Pi Zero. This isn't the best way to do it, but it is an inexpensive way instead of having to buy Raspberry Pi hats for the Pi Zero. So again, since we selected the Bluetooth receiver as the audio device, I can go ahead and plug in an auxiliary device. And in this case, if I can get the speaker looking here. Um, it's just a simple um, powered speaker. I'll just plug it in to the headphone jack and go back to our media player. It's CPU governor, so it should be relatively fast for a Pi Zero. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Since this
and you can plug in basically anything on here that has an auxiliary jack. I hope that was something helpful for you to use instead of having to go find a Raspberry Pi hat that gave you a headphone jack. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share with somebody you think may enjoy this, and have a good rest of your day.